Hello everyone, welcome to SAG Infotech. Today we will be discussing the new feature of IMS Outward Dashboard introduced in our GenGST software. So let's get started with the demonstration. First you need to go to GSTR1 and then select your client. After that you need to select the particular period for which period you want to check the IMS Outward Dashboard. Once you click on this dashboard button the software will automatically download the data from the portal. Here you can see the data download process has been completed. And your B2B invoices, CDNR data reflected in this section. Also there's a GSTR1 status reflecting whether it is pending or filed. And GSTR 3B status whether it is pending or filed. Once you check all the details, there is a details section you just simply select your B2B invoices. And then click on details section in details section. All the invoices reflected with their respective status. Whether the status is accepted, rejected, pending and no action. You can see all the status of invoices. If you want to download the latest return status. Then there's a get latest return status option available. Also if you want to download the latest data from the portal. Then the option available in the footer. If you want to see only the accepted invoices. Just simply click on accept option. And your accepted invoices selected reflected here. In rejected section you can see your rejected invoices. So if you want to modify these invoices according to the details. You just simply need to select the option. And there's a option of edit in GSTR1, amend in GSTR1A and amend in GSTR1. If your GSTR1 status is pending then you need to click on edit in GSTR1. If your GSTR1 status is filed then you need to click on amend in GSTR1. If your GSTR1 and GSTR1 a status is filed or GSTR1 and GSTR3B status is filed. Then you need to click on amend in GSTR1. Currently here the GSTR1 status is pending. So you need to click on edit in the GSTR1. Simply click on edit in GSTR1. And this invoice will be forwarded in the GSTR1 data. So you can modify this invoice in GSTR1 table. This is the GSTR1 fill form and your data reflected here. You can simply select your particular invoice. This is the entry for the modification of the invoice. So, you can simply modify and update the invoice. Then just exit from this section. Then just go through the return filing option. There's a e-file facility, simply click on e-file. And go to generate JSO format. Once you finalize all the details, then go to the return submit. In return submit option, there is also the download of IMS outward supply. Before and after uploading of GSTR1 data. So that you can check and update the latest IMS Outward Supply data from here. In this way, you can check the IMS Outward Supply status before filing GSTR1 or GSTR1, which helps ensure that no rejected invoices are filed in GSTR1 and GSTR1A. Thank you for watching this video.